All right, welcome everybody, let's do this. So for Algebra 1, most of you, it's gonna be your first time going through a video lesson with me. So I'm really excited because we get to do the work together and the ability of a video is you can pause the video whenever you need to write down the steps and rethink certain ideas, but also to try and do problems on your own. So what I'd like you to do is to make sure that while we're watching the video with me, please be active, right? I want you to take notes with me Pause when you need, take your time when you're going through the problem. If you need to take a second and rewind, that is okay. There are gonna be times where I'm gonna say, hey, pause the video and try a question on your own. Because if you just watch me do everything and you don't try the questions on your own, it's not gonna be as fruitful, right? So we'll talk about that when I give you that opportunity. But here, what I'd like you to do before we begin is make sure you have A, your handy dandy calculator, your pens or colors or whatever you need and also a piece of paper to write down the notes because here if we just write down the notes over here within the lesson it's not going to be as powerful as having this in our binder to make sure we're nice and organized with the lesson so here what i'd like you to do is to have your piece of paper write this down pause the video right write this down and then whenever you're ready we'll begin all right, so here, the main idea for today's lesson will be absolute value. So what on earth is this? Let's take a look in our notes, just real quick, and let me zoom in here. What does it mean to have the absolute value of a number? What we're doing is we're taking the distance from zero on a number line. So what on earth am I talking about over here? Like, let's say if I said, what is the absolute value of three? What we're doing is, this is zero on the number line, this is one, two, three. And if I said, hey, what's the distance from here, zero, to the number three, what is this distance? It's just three, right? And that's all it is. So the absolute value of three is three. You could say that for the absolute value of seven, it's just seven. But what happens if we have an absolute value of a negative number, right? Like, what is the absolute value of negative five? Well, okay, if I'm on the number line, this is negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. This is negative five over here. What is the distance from negative five to zero? That distance is just, it's just five. So think that it just makes the number positive. So it just makes the number, or we could say the value positive okay because distance is positive you can't have negative distance okay so please have this down so if I have the absolute value of negative 5 it's just 5 great so let's take a look and you know pause the video make sure you have this in your notes right okay now let's try some problems to see what on earth are we talking about over here here um, how would I read the first question? Let me move this a little bit. Let me zoom in right here. Okay. Here, practice reading this in your head before I try and complete it, right? The absolute value of negative 13 is just 13, right? You're just making whatever numbers inside the absolute value positive. Because here we're talking about distance on a number line, right? If negative 13 is here, what is the distance from here to zero? It's just 13. Okay, so try the next one. Or why don't you just, uh, let's just do this. Pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then you could check to see whether or not you got it right. Okay, so let's say you pause the video and now you wanna check. This is just 21. This is three plus five, which is eight, right? The absolute value of negative three is three. Absolute value of negative five is five. Three plus five is eight. Okay, this just becomes nine plus eight, which is 17, right? And don't be afraid to use your calculator if you need to. Um, this is what, 12 plus 15 is 27. This is, okay, well first now we gotta do this together. So this becomes absolute value four, right? We do 21 minus 17, which is just four. This is 11 minus five. So that should just be six. This is four minus four, which is zero. Absolute, well, let's see, what's 15 minus 23? That's negative eight, right? And what's the absolute value of negative eight? It's just eight. 
Uh, we have 24 minus 15, so that's just 9. This is 28 minus 26, which is 2. And then we have 3 minus 19. Try this without a calculator if you want. Pause the video. Do this without a calculator, right? What do you think it will be? It's just uh, negative 16. All right. Easy peasy for the first part. Second part here is uh, order of operations, right? The two important parts of this lesson are absolute value and order of operations. Now here, if you want, you could write like the definition of the absolute value over here. Go ahead. And then also here, what I'll do is I'll show the order of operations. But just by looking at this, I think you already know what this is, right? Uh, our lovely PEMDAS, right? So here, pause the video and just write for yourself, right? Pause the video and write what each one of these is telling us to do, right? Okay, so here, um, P, this one will stand for parentheses, or you can say uh, brackets as well. Brackets will look something like this. Uh, here, this will be exponents. So something like if I say uh, two to the three, if you say two to the three is six, my heart breaks, right? What should two to the three be? Two times two times two, two times two, four, four times two, that is eight, okay? Here, we're gonna do multiply, then divide, and always from left to right. Okay, you always read a problem from left to right. So then you could have this notation, right? And here this is addition, uh, then subtraction. Okay. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have a good idea of seeing this. And if you haven't, then welcome to PEMDAS. And we will try and do a few problems. So let's make sure we have this in our notes. And if you want, you could write this over here. I mean, that's what the space is for, but if you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? But now the idea is, how would we do this problem right here following PEMDAS, right? And if you want, take a second and just practice reading the problem, right? Seven plus 54 divided by three times two. So here, when you try and follow PEMDAS, right? PEMDAS, okay, I'll just write it over here. First, ask yourself, are there any parentheses? Yes, right? There's a two here, but does anything happen to the two? No. Are there any exponents? No. Do I multiply? Hmm. Is there multiplication over here right now? Where is it? It's right here. What is it saying? Three times two, right? So now here, take your time. So we have seven plus 54 divided by six. Okay, so we did our multiplication. Pause the video, what would I do next? I'm gonna have to do 54 divided by six, right? And what I'd like you to do is try this without the calculator. No calculator. Did I make one? Yes, I did, look. Uh, oh, let me zoom this out. Pause the video, try without calculator, right? I'm gonna show this a lot because being reliant on the calculator all the time is not the best, right? So if you showed it, this should be seven plus nine. And what is seven plus nine? That is 16. And then we're done with the problem we be in. Okay. Um, pause the video. Try a problem on your own. Take a look over here. Try these four questions. I'm sorry, these three questions on your own and then we'll check it together, right? Don't just wait for me to do everything, okay? If you just wait for me to do everything, you're never going to get better. It's never gonna work like that. You gotta follow the steps. Okay, so let's see, let me, my bad, let me fix the camera angle a little bit. Ahora da bien. Okay, so here, what do we do? Let's try this one. Are there any parentheses? No. Are there exponents? Yes. Now this is 17 minus 32 divided by four plus six. Okay, so don't worry, I will clarify that real quick. If you see this, right, two to the fifth, what does that equal? Two times two times two times two times two. Two times two, four 
times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 16 times 2 is 32. Okay? Great. But let's say sometimes the numbers get very large. Or how do I show this in our calculator, right? Let's say if I hit clear, how would I show this operation of 2 to the 5th? in my calculator, what would you do? Well, first let's hit the number two. And then here, what I want you to do is look at this under the clear, right? You see this little caret symbol? You hit the caret symbol. And then notice what does it do on the calculator? It brings it to the exponent, right? It says two to some power, I hit five, and then, oh my gosh, it gives you 32. So here, what you could write in your notes, right? This caret symbol, right? The way you say it is a caret. That will help with the exponent uh, with your calculator. You just hit this button over here, okay? So then, how do you continue here? Well, let's see. What would I do next? I would divide next. So 17 minus, what's 32 divided by four? That's eight plus six. And then now you can add and subtract from left to right. Seven minus, 17 minus eight, is uh, 9 plus 6 is 15. Muy bien. Very good. Okay. Try on your own. Or if you want to check, this is 24 minus 8 times 3 plus 15, right? We're going to do the exponent first. Then notice this dot, just in case we don't remember, the dot means multiply, right? It has the same idea with the parentheses. So notice that this should be 24 minus 24 plus 15. 24 minus 24 is zero plus 15, and we get 15, very nice. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, let me zoom in, for, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, this is maybe a little too zoomed in. Okay, we'll just zoom out a little bit. How do I do this problem here? Let's do inside the parentheses first, right? So then this should be parentheses five squared, right? If I do the seven minus two first. Oh, pause, I made a mistake. There's a, oh, pause, pause, pause. The square is inside the parentheses, it's not outside. So I have to do seven, let me write it here. I have to do seven minus four, right? Because two squared is four plus 17 over negative 14 plus, oh, I guess we could do this right now, two times five is 10. Then I could do seven minus four is three plus 17 over negative 14 plus 10 is negative four, which is 20 over negative four, which is negative five. And there it is, okay? All right, great. What I'd like you to do is try some of these on your own. Uh, let me turn the page. What does it look like? It looks something like this. And what I'll do is I'll make another video where I show these questions. But what I'd like you to do right now is try them with your friends or your classmates right now. Sounds good? I'll see you in the classroom. Great job.